Hello everybody, and welcome back around. Today, I'm gonna do a tag. It's the throwback tag. Let's get it on. Question number one. What year were you born in? 2013. Nope, I was born in 1994. I'm a 90s baby. I'm a spring 90s baby. Which means I'm probably gonna have like 173 kids. Question number two. Do I have any pictures of myself from when I was younger? There I am. I'm just the- No! This is me. I'm the handsome black man with the porno mustache. Just kidding, I'm the white snowflake on top of the black man's head. What the heck? I don't even under- I'm not even- look at- Does this skin look like that skin to you? At all? Question number three. What TV show did I watch while growing up? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And personally, that movie was a disappointment. Question number four. What did I want to be when I was growing up? And do I still want to be it? When I was younger, there were two things that I wanted to be. There was the usual, you know, three, five-year-old want to be an astronaut. I want to float around, go see the big glowing things in the sky. Sounds pretty fun. I also wanted to be a marine biologist at the age of three or five, possibly four, a marine biologist. Mm -hmm. Question number five. What were your favorite toys to play with? That is an interesting question. I have one toy. And I, it was the, I mean, there's also obviously the Spider-Man, Spider-Men, Spider-Guys, lovers out there. And I had the most, it wasn't life-size, because if I had life-size Spider-Man, I would, it was like a stinking 12 inch, and I think that's probably like a yard, uh, Spider-Man, and it was more realistic than I will ever be. Like, it's, it's fingers, like, could bend backwards and make, like, a tunnel, like a wave. Like, when a wave is crashing over a surfer, it's like, and you can see through it. That's what his fingers could do. And, like, it had, his, his fingers had, like, 15 joints. On one. It was, like, 15, and then 15, 30, and then another 15. Uh, but, that's what I had. That was one, probably one of my favorite toys. His legs didn't bend that much because I was a weak child and they were some stiff joints. So he basically just stood up straight and did like a bunch of like... But I whipped those webs from his wrists quite often. Whip, whip. Question number seven. What's the most embarrassing thing that you can remember? Ooh. That is a tricky question. I know there's, there have been many embarrassing things, um, but the one that I can remember, man, it was probably when I, 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 I had torn, me and my friend Justin, we had torn down my, uh, uh, her, my friend Justin's sister's Nick Jonas posters, because back in the day it was Jonas Brothers all day, every day. You know? It was, and I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm still kind of into Jonas Brothers. Sue me! So we had, we, we I, I use the word tore down, that's a little aggressive. We, we like took off like a little like tape, like it was like a little tape thing, and then we just took it off. It was like, phew, the paper was just like kind of hanging there. We got in so much trouble. Our punishment was decided by Shelby. And so of course, every 13 year old boy, around the time when the high schoolers are coming home from their, you know, Day of learning, what's their fear? It must have been to go outside in dresses and sing songs because that's exactly what she made us do. It was embarrassing because I'm not even sure I went outside. It was, it, I, 
That was a bad day. That was a bad day. Question number eight. Read something that you wrote when you were in kindergarten. I was a homeschooled child. I don't remember what I wrote in kindergarten. Question number, I'm blind still, nine. Three songs that you loved to listen to as a kid. Well, I mean, there's, there's the obvious lullabies. The Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, which was, you know, saying that every night before I went to bed. Uh, Mary Had a Little Lamb. Mary Had a Little Lamb, Little Lamb, Little Lamb. Mary Had a Little Lamb, whose fleece was white as snow. And... Gas Pedal. Question number 10. What's one of the funniest things that you've dressed up for as Halloween when you were younger? If you'll take a gander, you'll see I dressed up as a pretty, pretty princess. I was adorable. Number 11. Tell a funny story of something that happened to you that you can remember as a child. Well, I don't know, this is more scarring than funny. I was... You know, there's car there, there's apartment complexes, and everyone knows each other, and, you know, back in the day, back in the 1990s, 2000s, we didn't really have, um, like, pools there, so we had to go out, and we had to buy the pools, those little plastic blue things, and, you know, that people usually, you know, you, you'll go to, a, like, a ghetto part of town, you'll you'll see people out there swimming in their underwear in their front yards. But I was young and carefree. So I would go out butt naked and swim in the middle of this apartment complex in this blue tub of zesting lukewarm water. I still cry at night. Question number 12. Are there any special things that I've kept from when I was a child? Yes, there is. I keep a lot of stuff, but my most special possession from when I was a toddler and into my teenage years was a stuffed animal that I had. And it was like, it, it was, okay, so you guys know Build-A-Bear Workshop. Build-A-Bear, stinking life-size bears that you can just hug and say, oh yes, uh, cuddle with me at night. And, 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 and for some unknown reason, children seem to think that Build-A-Bears create this force field around the bed so no dark creatures from the night can get to you. It's true. And I, I think he was from Build-A-Bear, but it was a dog. And I, I love this dog. Every night, if I didn't have my Levi, I wasn't going to bed. I was throwing a fit. He, I, over the years, he deteriorated. And he has like, he had a hole that looked like an eye right there. And his stuffing had started to come out. So I, every time I had to like push it in, and I never sewed it, but I should have. And his, what was it, left ear. Like he had floppy ears that hung down and you'd go fuck, 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 and they'd flop. But one ear, I don't even understand how it happened, but he, I, I, some, I, some people smell, I smelt his ear for years when I was going to bed. For a while, it didn't smell like anything. I would like put like, like cherry chapstick on it, make it smell pretty good. It makes it smells like cherry. And then I went a little overboard. Then I went to taking chewed up fruit snacks and I would like like a like a mother sparrow feeding its child I would distribute the fruit snacks onto his ear and it would I would smear it around I'd wait maybe about 24 hours it would smell like grape or cherry never lemon on orange never question number 13 what was something weird you used to do as a kid? <clears throat> wow, um, that's a leading question. As a kid, I don't even know what the weirdest thing I would do would be. Um, I know I sounded like a, a female until I was like 
18. So I, I just, the, the weirdness level kind of elevated every time you heard me talk. The weirdest thing that I did was I don't know, like I would go and I would, I would, I would sing a lot when I was a kid. I would do some dancing when specific songs came on. And I would just like, I, the, uh, the song, any given song would come on and I'd just start, you know, breaking down, you know, people usually dance. But I would go all out. I mean, there's no holding back. I'd just go. Mm -hmm. That's pretty, that was pretty weird. Number 14. What's the scariest thing that you remember that happened to me when I was a child? Boom, right off the bat. I went to, my mom had like, we watched Discovery Channel because my mom's like an animal nut. And we were watching the Discovery Channel and there was something about walruses and you know, the natural habitat and all that crap. And I went to take a nap because I'm five, six years old. So I went to go take a nap. That's was the best part of the day. I lay my little petite head down on my fluffy pillow. And okay, I close my eyes. Okay, my eyes are closed. And I dream. I dream of walruses being chopped up into little like nuggets by the Eskimo hunters. And I wake up screaming. <laughs> My sister is screaming as well. And so we're screaming. Ah, I were crying. Ah! And my father comes in. He picks us up. He takes us to the bathroom. And we're still crying. Hmm? It was the scariest thing ever. We had a together dream. But it wasn't a dream. It was a together nightmare. It was a tonight nightmare. Last question, how is the world different from how it was when I was a kid? All right guys, that's all I got. That's all the questions. It has been a pleasure. Hope you guys are having a great day. Hit the subscribe, hit the like. If you guys have questions for me, send them in the comments. If you guys have other tag ideas, send them in the comments. All right, talk to you later guys, bye.